now that we're talking about conditional statements, we also run into a, not a problem, but a particular circumstance. What happens if I happen to want to ask something like else if, or there are tons of forks in the road. So if we think about our road analogy for a second, there's one branching point, here's another weird branching point, here's another weird branching point. This is the worst road ever designed, uh, but again, I am a computer scientist, not a civil engineer. But let's imagine someone decided that this was the road that we wanted to build. Uh, terrifying, but you know, we have roundabouts, so technically true. Anyways, the entire idea is we can use something known as a chained conditional statement to basically say we want to have multiple types of evaluations. Again, if we think about our fork in the road, if one of them is true, we just go do that, move on with our code, that's it. But maybe when we say that this statement was false, oh, well, maybe we happen to have other uh, options that we want to work off of. Maybe we have another criteria and we have, you know, to work off of it. So, oh, well, that's true. So we'll do that one instead. Well, if that one's false, maybe we happen to have another one. Maybe if that one's false, we could do some else statement entirely. A great example of this would be something like a grade calculator. The entire idea to a grade calculator, is, if you think about it, is just checking if your grade is above the prior, your, your uh, last grade's lower bound. So what does that mean? Oh, well, we're basically saying is uh, if we're above 92, great, we're an A. Else, if we're above 84, we've got a B else if we're above 76 we've got a c else if we're above 68 we've got a d or finally a final else technically we don't even need that last if statement because everything else well you either got your a your b your c your d or your f <laughs> so in this sort of light we can do that type of evaluation so let's say, for example, we were going to build that grade calculator. Now, how, again, I like to operate is I like to build the code out and then place it into a function. So we're going to first say that we have a grade. And let's go easy enough, uh, a 95. Okay. Now we need to make our evaluation. If my grade is greater than or equal to 92, your letter grade will be an A. That's it. Okay, fair enough. But for our sake, I'm going to expand this out. All right, we're only going to work off of one, you know, pass or fail style class here. You either have an A or you fail miserably. I'm a terrible instructor. Ha 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 ha. And then finally, uh, print letter grade letter you got an a can because uh, a 95 is greater than or equal to an a or a 92 but you could imagine that if i came in and did something like an 85 check that same evaluation you got an f now again we know that that's not enough we need to continue and expand on this this is again where we can use a command known as elif. Elif is just the shorthand version of else if. And we can give elif more conditional statements to work off of. Grade is less than or equal to, and I'm going to cheat and look at them, 84. Now the entire idea here is again, the first condition is check, was it better than a 92? If it was, it was an A, that's it. Else. Oh, what we've said is grade is not less, or sorry, not uh, larger, or uh, grade is 
less than 92. That's effectively what we've just established when we find out that this is a false statement. Oh, well, now we check. We know grade is less than 92. Is grade greater than or equal to 84? If it is, letter is now equal to B. Ah, and this is where we can do a little bit of cheating, a little bit of cheating, but as you can imagine, we've got to do C and D. I'm gonna highlight, copy, bam, bam. I'm just gonna paste those in, copy and paste. Don't copy and paste from the internet. I know I'm on the internet. Copy and paste code you write. Don't copy and paste code I write, I guess. Uh, either way, let me just finish this up. So we're at a 76 and a 68 and then C and then a D. Okay, well, again, we've made some changes. Let's load those into memory. And then let's see what my final grade is now that I have an 85. I got a B. Awesome. Now let's convert this into a function. And luckily, it's after you've built sort of the code in this light, it's very easy to switch it over. Realistically, you can come in at the very top, define your function name. I'm going to call it letter grade. And since I've been doing my evaluations off of the variable grade, I'm going to just continue and cheat and use that name again. And so now I'd come in, highlight all of that text, hit the tab key that's going to move everything into my function. And there's only one final step that I need to do. I've been working off of this letter variable, right? But I need to actually return my letter. Now again, if I compile this up and run it, it's not quite right because again, if I were to change grade, it stays the same. And the issue is because specifically, I've never called letter grade. So now that we've at least established our, our world, I can do a little bit of moving around. I'm going to take my grade. It doesn't need to be before this code anymore because uh, I'm, I'm no longer evaluating it linearly. I can remove that. I'm going to put it just below that. Again, I've made my grade. I'm going to get my letter by calling my function letter grade off of my grade. So yes, I know this can be super, uh, but we're going to make a variable called letter that is going to call the letter grade function, letter grade function. And we're going to use the parameter or the variable grade as our criteria. If that still seems super funky for you uh, of just where those words and coming in together comes into play, I'm actually just going to, I'll call it final score. I don't like shorthanding it. So final score and uh, final, we'll call this uh, la, 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 uh, final letter. There we go. So again, I've got a final score. 95. I've got a final letter that's going to be my letter grade. Uh, and then I have a function letter grade that I use final score off of. So again, I've made this. And so now that all of that is bundled into one single cell, I can see, oh, it's an A or 75. Oh, it's a D or 79. Oh, that's a C or 59. Oh, that's an F. Because again, we bounce through, we see that uh, 59 is not greater. So that's a false statement. Uh, 59 is not greater than 84. That's a false statement. 59 is not greater than 76. False statement. 59 is not greater than 68. False statement. Else. So all else fails. We basically have said you didn't get an A. You didn't get a B. You didn't get a C. You didn't get a D. Well, unfortunately, you got to get an F. But to at least end on a good score, we'll end on you got a final grade of 105. There's your A.